We are going to play with the birds today. It is birdie day. Right, birdies? Is it birdie day? Oh, Chico's gonna come and say hi. Chico's gonna say hi. Hi, Chico. Hello, Chico. Chico loves that corner so much, guys. So like, to the people who suggested the platform, thank you. I'm like trying to point and like look in the screen. I don't know where I'm pointing. Chico loves it. She loves her platform. Um, anyways, we are going to set up everything for the birds first because I can't just let them fly willy-nilly without them being ready for them because they'll get into so much trouble. So I just want to show you the things I do. So the first thing I do is these doors get shut because <laughs> my mom doesn't want them in their room. Understandably, we don't want poop on the bed or them destroying her stuff. Yeah, birdies are very destructive, if you didn't already know that. Brother's door gets closed. My door also gets closed. Um, I let them in my room a few times. <laughs> Chico's just being so cute, I gotta show you. She's just doing all these little acrobatic tricks. Look at you on your swing. Are you showing off? Look at you go. She's so cute. What are you doing, Cheeky Cheeks? What are you doing? <laughs> Sometimes I'll let them in my room, but my concern is I have so many different plants I don't want them to chew on and there's so many things. Hi! He's so excited. I have to like hurry up. Um, there's so many things they can get into trouble in my room, so I have to like move so many things around and I have to literally watch them like a hawk because some things are just too difficult to move. So I just have to really watch them. So I don't do that very often. I do have a couple little adorable clips that I'll put in for you. So we're gonna set everything else up. All right, so the first thing that I like to do is take my towels, my towels and my house robes and stuff off the door because they like to perch on the door and if I don't do that, they will 100% poop all over them. So the next thing that I make sure I do as I take down the curtains, these are very delicate and their claws tend to get caught in this. So not only does it destroy the curtain, but it also just scares them when they get caught on things. So I take this down and we're gonna put something else up. This old sheet underneath my cover and it just has like little ties in it <laughs> and I just basically I just hook it onto where the curtain rod usually goes. The reason I do that is birds can sometimes fly into windows if they're not really paying close attention. I do that for their own safety so they don't hit the window and really hurt themselves. They often climb all over the sheet anyways and sometimes they'll climb behind it and they'll like look out the window or climb in the window so that is fine. Like they're going at it a lot more slowly. They realize what it is. My concern is them flying from like this side of the room and just like backing into the window. I don't want that. They chew on all of the, like the, uh, what are they called? I have to fix that one. Um, what are they called? Trim, the trim of the house. They have a habit of chewing and they've kind of done a lot of damage already, but we've put electrical tape to try and prevent them from chewing it more. Inside this tiny little ottoman is our birdie stash. We got a bunch of stuff. So I have this plastic, old plastic, um, hello there. <laughs> it's like I'm not even in the frame. I have this old plastic tablecloth and I cut it into a bunch of pieces and I just use it as mats to go all around the floor. So basically all the poop spots. We also have a tarp <laughs> because we got to prevent them from going downstairs because that would be just a whole other story and before I had the tarp, Chico flew downstairs once and she got all freaked out and she bumped into some things and it was really concerning and like she got really scared. Um, so I don't want that to happen again. So we prevent them from going downstairs. And we also have some things to cover up my mom's chin up bar because they like to chew the foam, which is a big no-no. So we'll do this first. Hi Chico. Oh, my little princess. So I just have like this old towel. What I like to do is wrap it around the chin up bar here. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I just took a shower and I'm already sweating. For some reason it was a lot more difficult to do today than it usually is, I don't know why. Um, then I have this little like hammock tent thing. So I just like to attach it here and then it just kind of gives them something to play in. So they'll like run back and forth across this and they'll go in here and they'll play with their little friend Chatty Patty. This is actually Patrick's. He used to talk to her. He loved it. But they love it too. They climb all over it and they get excited when it's on. I'll show you. <laughs> is that Chatty Patty? What's up, bro? What's up? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Yeah. Hello. I like it. We're going to keep 
that off for now though because it's gonna get way too loud and you're not gonna be able to hear anything. All right, so now let's do the tarp. I'm trying to get an angle that you guys can actually see. Um, so what I did is I actually tied strings to the holes of the tarp and then I just like tie it to the railing. All right, so this is what the tarp looks like when it's all set up. <laughs> I actually kind of like that it's blue because I feel like it looks like an ocean, like it's water, you know, they're flying over the water. Now I'm gonna go around and put these in all their poop spots and then I'll show you after it's done. Birdies are ready to play. So I basically put them underneath this cause they'll poop there. They poop around their cage because they perch on their cage a lot. They like to land on the lamp so they'll poop there <laughs> and they often will hang down from here and they poop there they also poop from the door when they perch up there but easy it's super easy to clean the tiles i don't worry about the tiles or anything really in the bathroom because that's easy to clean it's really the carpet that i'm worried about are you guys ready to play oh my god they're so excited Chico's a little bit freaked out for my camera. They're not the biggest fan of the camera, so a lot of this is gonna be filmed on my phone because they're way more comfortable with it. But we're gonna set this up so you can see the birdies fly out of their cage. And then I'm gonna get my phone for the rest of it. All right, birdies, are we having playtime now? Are we having playtime? Is it a birdie day? Is it a birdie day? Oh, it's birdie day. Into my face. 
You guys want to go outside today? You want to go outside today? I try to bring them outside as much as possible, but it's like if they feel like going in their travel cage or not. Hi, cheeky cheeks. So the birds and I are enjoying some outside time. Right, birdies? Yeah. You're chilling underneath my beautiful tree. And they hear and see lots of birdies, so they love that. Right, birdies? <laughs> oh my goodness. Are we fighting for the best spot? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Birdies? How are you doing? What do you guys see? Oh my gosh, guys! Hey, hey, hey! What are you guys doing? What do you see, bud? What do you see, bud? What do you see? Treats. Put a little tiny bowl of treats there for them. If you guys are wondering how I got them in the travel cage, that's the best way to do it is to put treats in the cage and I kind of just leave the door open and I let them go in on their own. I don't want them to get scared of me trying to like force them in anything or anything like that. I always try to like ease them into anything. So obviously I can't bring them outside in the winter so. Fortunately, in the winter, there's a long period where I don't really use this cage, so sometimes it takes a while for them to get back, like, used to it again. But I do want to start, like, making more of a habit of it because I think it's important to be able to get them into this cage fairly easily if there was ever, like, an emergency or something. Are you happy, Kiki Cheeks? Are you happy, Kiki Cheeks? What you doing, Kiki Cheeks? Oh, are you on your swing? Is that your swing? Oh, are you showing off, honey? Are you showing off? Oh, Cheeky Cheeks is showing off. What you doing? What you doing, Chico? What you doing? Oh, Chico! Chico's a show off. Do you like your swing, honey? Do you like your swing? Is that a nice swing? Are you preening your pretty feathers? Are you preening your pretty feathers? Are you eating your birdie noms, bud? Cheeky cheeks. Hi, princess. Are you my princess? All right, the birdies enjoyed their outside time. It was so nice. There were some birds that flew right by and they got all excited. Right, birdies? It's time to come out and play. It's a little dark in here. Is it round two? Round two of flight time! What you doing, bud? Hey! How's my handsome boy? How's it going, Miss Cheeky Cheeks? How you doing, bud? Yeah? Look at 
look how cute they are. They're so sleepy right now. <laughs> They've been grinding their beaks a bit, which birds do when they are relaxed and sleepy. Hey birdies. Ugh, don't mind my red nose area. Jeez guys, I've been like blowing my nose all day because it's allergy season and it's torturous. It's so bad. <laughs> I think my birds are just like pooped. They've been like napping on top of my bathroom door. Like guys, we're recording, let's play, let's hang out. And they're just like, no, just let us sleep. I don't know if I really got that much footage cause I think they're just sleepy today, but I am just going to insert some other cute clips from the last couple of weeks that you guys have not seen. So yeah, I'm just gonna say goodbye to you guys now. I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe before you leave. But anyways, let's close this video off with a few extra adorable clips of my birds. Chico has found a third shelf. Chico, you're so adventurous. Look at you. Look at you. You're so brave. Don't you lay it on that puya now. <laughs> what do you see, honey? You're so cute. What do you see? The birds just love my room so much and always want to come in here so bad. I've decided to get some more Freya. Not every single time because it's a lot of work. But I decide to let them come in here. I just have to watch them like an absolute hawk, not let them chew on any plants. We won't do this every time, but for a treat, maybe just on weekends, I'll let them explore my room because there's just so many things for them to look at and they get super excited. <laughs> look at Chico. <laughs> do you like that sound bowl, honey? You're so funny. Oh my gosh, she's so funny when she looks in her little reflection. She's so cute. Is that you, Chico? Is that your reflection? Do you like being up there? It's hard to film you up there because of the glare. There's quite the glare. Are you going to look at your reflection too, handsome? Did you discover the next shelf? Oh my god. Chico, don't get yourself stuck. What are you doing? Are you stuck behind my tarot cards? Do you need a hand? Oh honey, do you want help? There you go. Now you got a door. <laughs> She's like, I'm done. What you doing? Oh, is that your beautiful reflection that you see? You guys found your reflection? 